I don't even know why I'm starting with this, except I'm a glutton for punishment. Mm. I can only imagine how mad people are going to get, but tough luck. If you don't like it, have your own show. So, I was thinking about this Rock Roman Reigns Cody thing that's going on right now. All right. And, you know, I've been hearing a lot from people over the last couple of days. What a... I don't know, I can't even say the word on the air. Poop show? Sure, yeah. God, they go this way, they go that way. It's so convoluted. What a mess. Cody gives up his spot, then he gets his spot back. Blah, blah, blah. Now, I'm going to make it abundantly clear. See, Lenny's already on. He's on fire. It's stupid! Okay, listen. All right. Do you remember a year ago? I do. I don't know how. But last year, we had Roman Reigns as champion, and they had a plan, and that was Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania, okay? Now, I still believe to this day that Cody was supposed to win last year, and Vince waltzed in that weekend and changed it. I believe that. It makes sense. You look at the post-WrestleMania booking, all of the post-WrestleMania booking makes way more sense if Cody's champ than if he's not champ. He's facing Brock. Roman Reigns is doing nothing but tag matches and vacations. It makes much more sense that Cody was supposed to win, but that got changed like the day of the show. But doesn't matter. Regardless, Cody and Roman was the main event of WrestleMania, right? Okay. Yes. So then we had uh, that, that, uh, that show with Drew challenging for the title. And everybody was like, man, you know, maybe Drew should win. Clash at the castle. Clash at the castle. Maybe Drew should win. Like, he's hot. This is the moment. Let's do it. Well, they didn't. They stuck to their plan. Okay? Well, then we had the Sami Zayn deal in Montreal. Even I said, you know what? This is freaking hot. Like, maybe he should win the title from Roman. (laughs) What happened? He didn't. They stuck to their plan. Right? Yes. Tell me when I'm telling lies. Okay? So, they've been spending a year building up to Rock and Cody again. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Roman Reigns and Cody again. Well, who waltzes in and gets a spot on the board in $30 million? The Rock. Cody wins the Royal Rumble. Again, stop me when I'm telling lies here. Cody wins the Rumble. He's supposed to show up on SmackDown and say who he's going to face. We're going to finally get this big moment. Well, the guy shows up. They do an angle. And he says, I actually, you know what? I, I'm not going to challenge you at Rumble. Guy's practically crying. Can't even keep a straight face. Rock shows up. Waltzes his way into the ring. Gives Cody the handshake and the hug, which Cody clearly wants virtually nothing to do with. And Cody walks away. Okay? And so Rock and Roman Reigns have a stare down. And what happens that weekend? Everybody turns on it. They don't want to see it. We get the we want Cody thing. We have death threats towards Ava. Like, Rock is totally booed out of the building. It's clearly a match that nobody wants to see. Okay? Well, they go to the thing on Thursday, and what do they do? They get back to Cody versus Roman. Now, you could say, well, maybe that was the plan the entire time. Well, maybe it was. But you know what? It's really weird that Cody won the Royal Rumble, and then they shot an angle where he gave up his spot. He didn't come out and say, you know, just the whole promo, and then say, you know, I I want to take everything from you. Rock's music hits, Rock comes out, he has a stare down, and that's the segment. And Cody doesn't make a decision. Like, in the storyline, Cody made a decision. I will not face you at Mania, I will step aside. That's a really weird thing to do if this was the plan the entire time. And as Dave noted yesterday, well, and no, Cody was supposed to win the Rumble. Don't start that. They had Cody winning the Rumble shirts out immediately. That was the plan the entire time. So my point here is, you know, Dave noted yesterday that they had a they had a special on E about The Rock. 
that was filmed last week. Rock's talking about his kids. And you know what happened? They said on the show that it is the Rock and Roman Reigns in the main event of WrestleMania, taped a week ago. So what I actually think happened was Rock showed up, decided this is going to be the year, decided he was taking that main event or whatever. They shifted and they shot the angle. The fans totally rejected it. And I think, to their credit, they shifted back to Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. And everybody complaining about how it's stupid and it's convoluted and it's idiocy. Yeah, you know what they did is they had an idea and it didn't work and so they changed course. So we should actually be happy don't, about don't, that. Wait, hold on. Don't you act indignant towards fans I am that indignant. thought it sucked? No, Listen it did yourself. suck. Stop. It did oh suck. Oh, my God. My point is, my you point is. You puffing up here. Last oh, they year. they changed course. No, Adam to mute you. You're not listening. Last year, everybody cried because they wouldn't change course. They cried about it. They wouldn't change course. This year, it appears they did change course. And people are still crying about it. So my point is, what do you want? You want to stick with Rock and Roman Reigns? Calm down. That's what I want you to do. Yes, we should be happy they changed course. But exactly, it does not give them a free pass for fans to look at this and blow it. Want them to blow it out their rear end because that's what they've been doing. It's convoluted. It's messy. At the time all of this is going on with real world issues, makes it even worse. It's like, what the hell is going on with this place? Everything has been so foolish and silly in this lead up. It's just been convoluted. So yeah, I guess if you want to be just so firm in your stance that now everybody needs to shut up and, and be happy with the fact that they turned back course. No, we don't have to be quite happy about that yet. We got to see what the rest of this build is, including how, if possibly, they play a tag title match or a, or a tag team match into one of these nights. I think we are getting a tag match. If The Rock's presence overshadows Cody's story, uh, again, we'll ha- we'll see what happens with this. But uh, man, I am surprised you are this fired up that people should now be happy. With I the didn't fact say that they should be happy. Course. I asked a question: Why were you angry last year that they refused to change course, and then this year when they changed course to what the people actually want, it's like, oh, it's convoluted booking and they're blah blah blah. Yeah, the thing where Cody said, "I don't want the match." That was the whole thing was stupid. stupid. It's the same. It hasn't and you know been what it is, Brian? No, Listen, it hasn't been explained. I don't yet. want to blame Dwayne. You can, but it seems to me that like last year, this whole thing got screwed up because of Vince, and this year, old Dwayne walks in, tried to screw it up again. Dwayne washing, and I will give them credit fronts. for like going back and going, brother. They don't want to see this. Maybe it was his idea. Maybe he went. You know what? They're right. I, I do not eye. want to go in and get booed in a singles match against Roman Reigns for twenty minutes in my final match. My third eye, my conspiracy brain understands that this was an attempt at 4D chess. They did all of this knowing to try to take your mind off of all this real life stuff that is taking place and the rock being on the board and the lawsuit and all this other stuff. We're going to make this so messy that people will be distracted from the nonsense and the messiness that we are in real life with our messy storyline. That's what conspiracy I don't think it was 4D chess at all. I think they had a plan last year and this old idiot walked in and changed it. He thought he had some better idea. And then this year, they did the whole thing again. And then come January, Rock gets $30 million and a spot on the board, and he gets to do what he wants. But turns out he didn't get to do what he wanted. Or maybe he does want to do this. Maybe this was his call after they got the reaction he got. Because don't even tell me he was expecting to get this kind of heat. I think he's fine getting heat. He's got the Cody Crybaby shirt. But not, we want to kill your daughter heat. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.